All right, so you're going off-roading, got a bunch of people together. How are you going to talk to each other? You probably need a radio. Maybe you're just coming back. You need to reprogram your radio. It's annoying to have a radio and not be able to use it. Program that joker. All right. We got the radio. By the way, this is a Baofeng UV5R. We got the serial cable, made in China. Driver CD and the serial bus cable. So uh, today we're talking about the uh, the Chirp software and how to program the radio and why. Why would you want to program it? Well, so a group of us got together. We went down to Nemo Tunnel, which was awesome. I think there was about five of us. Anyways. Uh, I had several radios, several of the other guys had radios, and I programmed them all on the, all on the trip. Now when they get back home, none of them live in Tennessee, we're all going to need to reprogram it for different places, right? So let me just give a disclaimer, this does get ham's channels. If you're not a ham, if you don't have a, a license, uh, don't transmit on any of the ham channels, but you can listen in. And so that's what this does. I have, G I have FRS and GMRS on the first 60 channels, something like that, then I have the rest of the channels. Uh, with the different ham repeaters and um, those are local so those are based upon where you live so those ham channels are based upon where the repeater is and that repeater only goes so long so far away from the repeater therefore those repeaters are local so if you live in Tennessee you need a certain set of repeaters if you live in Virginia you need a certain set of repeater, repeaters channels set into your radio for southern Virginia North Virginia so forth and so on so we are going to get out the recording and all right so first make sure your radio is charged up you need some battery on the radio it's going to ask us to turn it all the way on mode. which is really loud if you want to cock it back just a little bit let's turn that off for just a second so you need the chirp program and you need the cable and you need the radio i got the cable uh, from Amazon there's a bunch of different kinds you want to get a specific one because chances are if you get the cheapest one then the you'll have to get some strange drivers and you may get weirdness on your computer I've linked the the link if you if you do get one I would suggest getting one with the driver disk uh, because if you don't it doesn't work then you have to figure out how to get the drivers and that's a hassle all right so you get the chart program you download that I've got the link whether you have Mac OS whether you have Windows download the program Okay, so you download the program. A, pull up the program. CHIRP, that's the radio programming software. Okay, we're gonna open that. We're gonna take the serial cable. We're gonna plug it into the computer. Probably, it's gonna take you a couple times to do this. And I did made some mistakes on this video. Uh, not, I didn't even do them on purpose. You're going to make mistakes, but it's going to be fine. So plug the cable into the computer. Turn the radio on all the way. Cock it back a quarter turn. Channel mode. All right. Radio plugs into the cable only one way. One is large, one is small. It feels like it felt it goes in it goes in farther push it all the way in all right we're gonna go to we're gonna go to all right we're gonna go to radio we're gonna go to download from radio and that'll tell you what's on your radio uh, and it'll tell you that it's working too before you mess anything up so you're gonna see that the port matters first here I didn't do the right port Gonna tell you some do's and don'ts. I messed up the port. Did it? Did it bother anything? No. You can you can fix that. All right. To find the right port, you go to Windows, which is essentially your search. Type in Device Man, D E V I C E space M A N. Got that Device Manager. That's gonna bring up your stuff. 
you can see there's a whole slew of stuff don't mess with anything in here unless you know what you're doing really this is just going to tell us what port it's on what we're looking for is ports com ports so serial it says com5 do you see that at the end the first one i tried was com4 it didn't work com5 is a ticket <clears throat> and we have a Baofeng UV5R. This would work if you had other radios. Okay, it's going to clone what's on the radio to the to the computer. So this is all the channels. I have FRS one through twenty-two. Then I have GMRS, which you do need a license for. It's thirty-five dollars now. Down to channel fifty-two. Then from fifty-three onwards, I have random repeaters. That's uh, this. This is two meters only. There is such a thing. This radio, in particular, the UV5R, gets two meters and oh, it's two meters and seventy centimeters. So what you want to do is you want to get a new a new set of radio channels because you have your what's current. You want to get new. If you don't if you don't get a new one you'll see what happens and you do have to when you're I like repeater book by the way when you're doing the uh, proximity search you want to put in the location using the zip code <clears throat> as you saw I put in the, the actual city name and didn't know what to do there so in my case 20121 50 miles is what I put in and I use the two meter band you can also do the two meter channels in your area, 20, 20 miles or whatever, if you're just gonna be local. If you do a lot of driving like I do, I could choose the 50 mile, whatever you wanna choose. And then then you can change it to seven, um, 70 centimeters and that'll get you on the 440 band. And this radio will also pick those up as well. Alright, so I grabbed all the channels that are in my area, I copied and pasted them into the current one that I was working in because I, I like having the FRS and GMRS bands at the top. You'll see when I was pasting it in, I did get some errors. That's just because they were different protocols on some of those channels. You can just hit OK on all those errors if you get any. And here's probably the most important point is you go to radio and upload to radio. Choose the right COM port. Again, upload to the radio. That's pretty important. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you hate FRS, if you hate GMRS, if you hate ra radios in general, Baofeng, if you think I'm a dumb, 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 let me know. Put some comments in here. Like and subscribe. We'll see what we can get to.